Oh, right. Looks like everything is where it needs to be, Sam. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's a uh, about time that things started working just a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've been doing this a year. We should be getting better at it by now. I mean, that's only one year of experience. You need at least 20 years experience in the field for flawless everything. And technology will still get you every time. I mean, anyone who's uh, listened to our old videos knows <laughs> how bad it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyone that's listened to those, I apologize profusely. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. That's yeah. the you know, and in the least, it wasn't that bad for that long. <laughs> <There>. <laughs> Absolutely, <clears throat> like I, I'm hoping to continue to improve because, like. We actually got the the perfect person to tell us how to do things better with us right now. It is true. Mysterious <laughs> voice in the studio. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the thing creeping across the land. <laughs> God damn, that sounded so good. It did sound really I wonder if somebody out there is like, oh my God, I recognize this voice. <laughs> there might be. There, 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 there might be. Just maybe a couple. Uh, maybe two. Hmm. <laughs> at least, at least, <laughs> they are out there. They they exist. I, I assure you. Uh, uh, our listeners have uh, heard us mention your name before, and I'm sure they've been long awaiting this. <laughs> yeah, they're like, "What the fuck?" Love Ryan's you. been hella excited to meet another. Ryan. Well, yeah, yeah it, it doesn't happen very often. You know, it's a blue moon thing, but like. I can still count on like one hand the number of Orions that I've met in my lifetime. Which uh, me too. It, it, it's based, it's <laughs> like I'm filling up the hand, you know. Th that's the thing. You have more than I do. We talked about that earlier. Like the only I only met one. You're the second one. I, the the only Orion I've ever met was like a, a decade ago, uh, or oh god, I'm that old. Fifteen years ago, <laughs> uh, and and it was a chick, and. Uh, that was a good night. Um, <laughs> this is this is all the Orions I've ever known. Yeah, There's, <laughs> yeah. This is probably the biggest gathering that the Council of Orions has assembled in quite some time. I, I yeah. must say. <laughs> yes. You ever see that Facebook meme where it was like fifty Johns? <laughs> like, the Council of John. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Didn't they well, I'm going to call like... bullshit on that. There is no council. <laughs> you see, Johns are so plentiful. They have to elect uh, representative Johns. Exactly. That's why they had like a like a fight fight it out. <laughs> oh yeah, they they <laughs> vote for it. It's, a, it's more of a John Republic. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. There's <laughs> it. Wait, it, it, I'd see my screenshot of me somehow. Do you guys just see that? The, what? The whole... No, uh, on your monitor. No. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, the, yeah, my, my Discord is buggy as fuck. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll send a screenshot and be like, I'll send uh, it's, 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 you know. Shout out to yeah. Discord to fix this buggy shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But still, we yeah. use it. <laughs> so yeah. it can't be entirely bad. Hey, you know, that's why I still use Skype. So shout out to Skype. Jesus. No, yeah. No, Skype still exists. <laughs> no, but, yeah, it's like nobody. That's like <laughs> that's like AOL online for like uh, yeah. <laughs> shit. Still got Internet Explorer, <laughs> where you get those free discs back in the day. Uh, oh, dude, dude, I used to use those as like a uh, little makeshift throwing stars because like yeah, you can you get them for free all the time in the mail. Coasters, True. you got Net Zero, you got all those guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, Net Zero makes the best coasters, hands good. down. <laughs> <laughs> all right well before we get too off topic we got to get on topic okay okay right. well intro. intro Woo! intro <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Why I, I am going to be so <laughs> upset with my here, sp- what? Here, here I, I gave you. I just sent you a thing via email of the, my Discord where I'm like, we're just gaslighting our listeners now. <laughs> no, hey, gaslighting me. <laughs> I live? heard that perfectly are fine. Uh, we are. We are. Oh my god. Actually, we are live. Yeah, Great. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm I'm confident that our listeners have heard the uh, intro, but with gaslighting aside, hello and welcome <laughs> to Dungeons and Talk Shows. The Dungeons talk and show Talk that- Shows are doing the thing. We eat the fuck. <laughs> we're fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Fuck yeah. Yes, the, the new intro. I love it. That's the I vibe am- already. I am your host, Orion, and <laughs> I am your host, Sam. <laughs> oh, to another mess that we call our podcast. <laughs> Fantastic. Indeed. I am not Perfect. the only Orion. Hello, fellow Orion. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. I'm Orion Acaba. I'm a voice actor from Los Angeles, uh, California, and uh I'm here to talk to another Orion and, of course, our boy Sam that should get us to the end to throw the ring in the uh, pit of Mordor. Ooh. It's been a long time in coming. You see, the the Council of Orions has heard your request and <laughs> after very much consideration, we have decided to grant you a membership to the Council. Oh, lovely. The eagles have flown in. Yes. And indeed. have saved me. I like Lord of the Rings. I'm just saying. There's going to be a lot ah, of oh, That's okay. fine. That's fine. I won't, maybe I won't let it slip that I've never actually watched Lord of the Rings. Oh, my God, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. All right, look. This is why, this is why I genuinely. You could have like, gone oh, to your Sam. grave with that one. Oh, Sam. <laughs> It's, no, it's one of those things. No, where it's beautiful. It's, it's so pop cultureized. No, you know? do it. Like, just, I, don't, I don't even have to watch it. Anymore. Just there drink a few beers, okay? <laughs> and if you have a, a whole day, you can watch. A literal whole day, by the way, yeah, if you get the extended like, cuts. <laughs> unedited, exactly. You got to watch those because it's going to take you 12 hours. Point is, you'll be a better man afterwards. Uh, <laughs> or worse for wear. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he he could be Sam the Wise afterwards. Ah, Ooh. I know that reference. Yeah, Sam Wise, you're Gamshi. <laughs> you need to know these things, Sam. <laughs> I love you, My Sam. Precious. <laughs> <laughs> precious. Yes. So, I mean, we're getting a little taste of the voice acting work. Here. Uh, what you other, know, uh, what other things have you been in? Uh, well, actually, as of this year, I clocked over 105 voices for different projects. Oh, wow. um, Ooh, that's impressive, considering the year has... We are barely into the third month. This is March 2nd as per recording, and just yeah. like, yeah, well, that's yeah. a lot. The, yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a thing. Uh, one of the things, and I'm happy to say that I've been involved with uh, the Lord of the Rings franchise, Star Trek, Star mm-hmm. Wars... Mm, uh there like, we go like 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 name it uh Damn. final fantasy uh i've been i've had the privilege to work with to be apollo justice and ace attorney i'm crazy dave in the plants versus zombies games uh, I've, I've i've done uh Fuck, i didn't realize like i was looking through your crazy uh dave yeah the guy with the pop head uh, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, you know, Call of Duty, uh, um, I'm Rico in Just Cause 4. There's a lot of things I've got to do, which, uh, awesome. which is always a, a privilege to, to work, um, in those, uh, projects. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but there, there, there's, there's, there's a few, uh, few more, uh, Naruto, if you're, if, if there's any anime fans out there. Uh, oh, we are major anime fans on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm like I'm in that too, uh, and uh, a couple other ones. Uh, JoJo's. Um, I, I did see that. I, I'm a big uh, JoJo guy. Uh, <laughs> in typical JoJo fashion, I cannot convince other people to watch it for the life of me. I don't know if this is on the same line of like you don't ask a woman her age or like her weight, but uh, who were you in an art? <laughs> 
uh, <clears throat> I was, uh, God damn it. I'm like I, hearing it in your voice now. Our brain's like racking through every character. I mean, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it, that was a while ago. Uh, oh, God. I, I was looking through the list last night because I was showing my buddy, and he's like, whoa, he was in Fire Emblem? That's cool. Oh, That's yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Kellum and uh, Jerome in uh, Fire Emblem, yeah. which were great uh, to, to play. Uh, I, I love that game. And I, just to note, for all you nerds, I play all the games I'm in because nice. I, I was just about to ask. I, 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 got, I got into this because I was a gamer uh, back in the day. Mm. I mean, in the day, now the day, whatever. Mm. Uh, now all, the day. <laughs> all the day. All the day. And Final Fantasy uh, is a, a very near dear thing. I've been in a few and that's a franchise mm. that's close to my heart. Uh, so, so I've gotten to voice, uh, a, a bunch of cool, uh, people. And I will try to remember in my brain who I did in Naruto, but, uh, I understand. Uh, you I like, you, you've up. been so many characters. I, I imagine it's hard. To remember. It's a, if you're, if you're, if you're checking things out, uh, it's on the IMDB. I'm sure it's there, but, mm. uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, that's so but, cool. But there's a, there's a lot. Oh of yeah. Uh, here things. it is. Uh, Hoheito. Oh, hey, so that's, that's, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 That was, uh, that was, that was cool. I did like three episodes with them. So cool. Uh, which was awesome. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, I do, I mean, I don't know if we get into stories now, but, uh, I did have, I did do a dub like in like my first two years of, of doing this for, it's called MM. It's like, an old ass anime and it's like all about like uh like a an snm school and i had to do it yeah yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> this is real um all right uh and, and, and i <laughs> did the trailer for that anime and it was like hey slap whoever he likes it you gotta go and to this school, <laughs> it was like the weirdest shit I've had to like dub. Um, but I've done a, a, a bunch uh, of stuff too. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. love it. Cause I, I want to get into doing more voice acting type stuff myself. Cause like, oh my I, I mentioned before uh, the show that I had been working on this audio book. I managed to get some recording in today. Cause like the wife took the kids out for like a little nature walk. So that was nice. Nice. Ah, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. There, yeah, and 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 you got a few, which is which is that. The, I definitely think you have the voice for it, Ryan. There's a, it's a whole. Well, I certainly one, try. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, what we talk, it's you know, it's all about range. It's all about we can get into that, too. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh you're, absolutely. You're, you're the captains of the ship. Where, <laughs> where do we go from here? Well, let's see. We. There's just like so much that I, I kind of want to ask in uh, terms of uh, like D&D and voice acting. Sure. Because, yeah. like, but so many people like they want to give more voices to their characters mm. and DMs like like you said, range. Oh, yeah. but, like there's sure it's fine for tons of DMs that can't really voice that many characters. But if you're able to like kind of distill it down to a few archetypes like, you know, it just that tiny bit of range. Oh. It is just amazing for storytelling. Like, what advice would you give to uh, DMs and players that are trying to kind of like breathe more life into their characters? Well, I, I, you know that's a that's awesome because you know what I think every single person because uh, I coach people, you know, um, and, and you know I do you know voice coaching, and and I tell everyone, everyone, no matter if you're a novice to a professional, you've got five voices in you. You've got five voices in you. Right. You have your narrative. Right. right. You have the narrative, like what you say, like this is what's going on and blah, 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 blah. Right. right. And then you have the other four where you have your villain, you have your hero, you have your merchant and you have your uh, 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 victim. Right. Ah, so, OK. That, so, that makes okay, sense. Okay. So, so is the merchant like my phone voice, like uh, that, be... that really feminine thing that I put on to, <laughs> to deal with uh, people that I don't want to deal with? It, 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 it all depends. Right. Like, you know, if, if you're if you're a DM. Right. And you're starting mm. and you're just and you're starting a group. 
you know, you, you do the intro, you tell the players what's going on and that's your narrative. Right. Mm -hmm. And then right. when people are going into stuff, you, they run into probably a merchant first, right. Before any shit right. pops mm -hmm. off. Um, unless he throws you right in or she throws you right into some shit. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but, but normally it's like, Oh, you guys meet here and then you're here and then you go to the town and you get your stuff. If you have any, you know, whatever you looted or what you had to begin with, your, with your character sheets, you know, so you can go to and buy these things. And when you go to the first merchant, it's, it's really just this thing of, uh, separating yourself from the narrative, right? So it, 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 it's a, a thing where it's like uh, the narrative starts like you're all in this right. town and this and this and this and you don't want to be too dramatic uh, like unless yeah. it, uh, at first, you know, you can build yeah. up to the drama as you go through the, the uh, campaign, right? right. Um, yeah, and kind of like leaning into the tone a little bit. Exactly, because everybody's, everybody's figuring out their characters in that game at the first like, you know right. so everybody's like just starting so you don't want to be too heavy uh yeah. and and after that you know so you're out in the town then you go to the first merchant and the 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 thing with the merchant or whoever you first talk to can be as crazy or silly as you want or as grounded as you want right so mm -hmm. it could be like uh if you like to mess around with accents i i highly recommend fucking with accents like start just exploring be weird like it, it doesn't right. even have to make any sense right it, it, because the race like wherever you're at if it's an elf or whatever like you know like it could it could be just as what would you like to purchase or versus like uh, what are you looking for today you know like it, it, mm -hmm. you know it can go from there to there and anything in between yeah you know so so have fun with the merchant. Uh, have fun with the, the the thing that sets off the characters to go do what they're gonna about to do, like and make it comfortable, right? Uh, and then, and then you know, as the characters find their 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 own thing, that as far and this is all for the DMs, right? So as far as the, 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 their own things, right. they're gonna figure those things out as they're talking, and you're gonna be like, okay, like I have papers here, so I can rustle. <laughs> rustle some paper you are be like okay uh you know and do that and, be, and and then make that decision of like when they get to their first uh you know mm -hmm. uh encounter right uh you know they're like okay we're leaving town we're doing this now they all make a decision right and the dm allows that in the narrative voice um and it, and it's it it it, it it's always great to be comforting as the the DM, as a narrator, right? It's always cool to be like, and uh, now you do this? Are you sure? Like, I, I, I yeah. love that question, by the way. Yeah, I love yeah. that role, It's too. very questioning, Are, and, like, it's just one of those things where when you're leaving things open-ended as a DM, just it makes the player, like, okay, there's more weight to even the most innocuous of decisions. Yeah, exactly. Make them like second guess and think more. Exactly, and then and then there's more conversation, and the the game goes mm. on right with with the player, mm. and it makes everything more comfortable because then people are talking like, oh, should we do this? And, and they're trying to figure out their voices with their characters, and yeah. and to to the character players, I would suggest you know just explore, uh, not giving a shit, like. If, <laughs> true if if you want to be like you know uh you know if 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 you're a a, a a tiny person in real life and you want to be a like a you know seven foot you know barbarian <laughs> it, yeah, go for Topical. it Fucking, <laughs> yeah. Just, like yeah no we're going to do this i think we should go here hey. and and <laughs> you know just just go for just go for it, but stick with the character because that's gonna yeah. that's that's gonna drive the entire game, like from from yeah. from, from player to player, right? Um, Absolutely. And, and so so uh, back to the DM stuff when when you have your first encounter, you need to make sure that you go for it too. You know, like it, it, like hmm. if if you're like now you're facing a bunch of kobolds or whatever the fuck, you know, kobolds. I don't know how the fuck, right? Kobold. <laughs> Those guys, yeah, 
goblins with less smoke. Right, right. And the, and you, <laughs> I don't know. Like, they, they can be pretty rowdy with their little scorpion yeah. on a tail type invention. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. So if you're going to go with that, then like go for it. Like make sure that you have a napkin or a mm-hmm. towel near you so you can be like, sir, what are you doing here? You know, like just go for it. You know, like, yeah, because yeah, that will give your, your group um, that level of uh, theater of the mind, as we say, mm. uh, for them mm. to react in their characters. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got to really like it helps paint that picture. That's what you're trying. To exactly. Do. Exactly. Yeah. Right in front of them. And when you take that first step, kind of like even doing the most silly of voices, it um, it kind of invites the players to yeah. do it, too. Exactly. It, it, that's, it takes down that pressure. That, 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 that makes it easier for everybody to just be idiots. I mean, the, the perfect thing about D&D, I would say, is it allows people to step out of themselves, which I would say you can play a character two ways. Play it as yourself or don't. And if you choose don't, then fucking just go nuts. Like, uh, like Tiberius, uh, from, uh, critical, like I, that, that was like a version of me, but not right. Uh, right. So, right. So, yeah. Uh, so, so I, and I allowed myself to just go further. Right. And, and it's only because, uh, Mercer was just a great DM, uh, 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 uh Matt Mercer to be to be clear mm-hmm. but uh, uh, uh yeah. it, it, he was just that's what he did he he allowed everybody to just uh allow themselves to be whatever they wanted to be or not so mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's a thing for dms to really take heed to uh which i thought was the best part and we started off in pathfinder but we'll get to that um yeah, I, I am curious about that because, like, you guys started off as just a, a typical home game a, and in Pathfinder, no less. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was like a, what first edition Pathfinder, which is kind of a yes. offshoot mm-hmm. of uh, what 3.5 D&D was at the time, which uh, that's how I really started out because 3.5, just a very number crunchy, very like there is a lot that you could do with that yeah. compared to modern fifth edition where the often the biggest criticism you see is it's very, there's not as much to it, which is both its strength and weakness at its same time. Yes. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, with Pathfinder, uh, there was, yes, it was a lot more freedom. There was a lot more math. Uh, there was, <laughs> there was, a, there was a lot, which I loved. Uh, uh, and, uh, Nerd. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's, but uh, but we got to you know we got to fuck with things a little bit more if you knew how to fuck with it you know like right. um yeah which, which you know uh uh, uh wizard of the coast that you you know that was not the case um and um i mean a lot of the i mean well the the characters that were built in that is now critical role. Like that was, uh, that was Mercer allowing us to be like, yeah, you want to do this? Like the, the reason that like, uh, Percy, um, you know, mm. had, like that was a whole thing he built the whole grit system yeah. and all that stuff too. Like, like that was him allowing him to do what he wanted to do just for us to have a game, you know, um, mm. with, uh, Tiberius, like, uh, he, you know, I was like, can I have this? And th- I've like, I've always been like, well, if I have this robe and this thing and this thing to start, that means my, you know, AC is going to be up at 18 as a sorcerer, which is nuts. So like, oh, yeah, absolutely. To, to start, you know, and he was like, you know what? And he, <laughs> <laughs> with much chagrin, he was like, fine, you, you that works. I'll, I'll allow it. And, and, you know, so, so from from the gate he allowed all of us to build characters and with everybody else he kind of you know helped them along uh with building their characters and uh and this this was all actually i mean really critical role happened because of liam o'brien um Mm -hmm. that's like actually the real story uh it was a thing for his birthday um we all got together and uh and uh and we had a game uh, because he hadn't played in a while he wanted to do it and uh yeah and it was us you know the 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 us us nine and and we played and and uh yeah so so mercer would help 
you know, everybody, you know, build their characters and do their stuff. And, uh, and, and that's how it all kind of started. And it was about like, I mean, I want to say it went on for like a year plus or something like that. Like where it was just like this rumored, like, Oh, a bunch of voice actors are doing this like cool D and D shit. And like, I had, yeah. I had no idea. To be fair, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna tell the truth here. I, I had no fucking idea yeah. like how cool D and D was. I was, I was more of a Magic the Gathering. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> I was more of a Magic the Gathering guy. Uh, so I played that. Like I, 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 sh- I should say I play that very well. Um, and so I went, Ooh. I went in, uh, going like D and D. This sounds cool. And uh, <laughs> and I was uh, very good friends with uh, him and Marisha, uh, especially. Um, and uh, we, uh, yeah, we, we started that because uh, Liam wanted to do a game, and th- and that's how it happened. And then we you know, we played, and then it just became like this weird, uh, you know, game that like everybody kind of started knowing about in the community, and uh, we were not prepared at the time and uh because we were just it was it was for us you know it, yeah it was just some some guys having a good time yeah no like it was just it was yeah, friend. i think that's where a lot of the heart kind of comes from because like when Absolutely. it is you're just your home game you're just a bunch of friends like screwing around and yeah no the fact that it just kind of like started as like hey let's all just get together for our buddy's birthday like that just has like this organic charm to it that is yeah. it was around you know his I mean? birthday it wasn't on the birthday but to, to be well, fair, but still yeah. he wanted to do it and it was it was it was because of liam uh but no but it, it, it's this thing uh, where uh geek and sundry like approached us and it was so bizarre um uh because like i i remember uh i remember uh Remember, 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 remember this, remember that. Um, remember, <laughs> remember the Death Star. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, no, like uh, you know, we the like one of the producers who made who, who approached us like came to one of our games like at uh, Sam's house, and Ooh. um, it was the weirdest shit because he kind of like just watched us play a game. And like, like off the side, like, this would make a great show. That's what, that's, <laughs> that's what I, he was like. Yeah, we'll do it. And he's like, do you want I'm like, it's so crazy. Um, it is weird having an audience when you play. Cause I've run a game when I was at job Corps for a time. And this was kind of like a farewell one shot. I was giving to some of the friends I had there. And as I was just kind of like running it, there would be people that would come out in from their rooms and like, what what's going on here what, what do you mean uh some singing dude uh giving a ted talk had his face shoved into a pile of shit and, <laughs> and then before i knew it we had a, a few people just kind of an actual audience just right there and it's just I feel like i vaguely it, remember this yes it, it was very bizarre i had tried to get you involved in that game like I also remember. Yeah, it was a three point five. Or something yes, like that. It, it was. I do remember. There you go. Yeah, I think it's about like how we, like a little bit after we met, uh, we played yeah. like a one shot together. I think. Oh uh, yeah, that that was the game where everybody spent like an hour arguing whether or not the uh, armored personnel vehicle was going to be more of like a more military in style or more like the battle shell from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and, and me at the time being the only person living not on campus and owning a van. I'm like, guys, you cannot understand how awesome a fucking van is. And a post-apocalypse <laughs> when the door just slides open and you can just kind of like lean out the side with your gun or a sword or whatever, like guys sliding doors are the shit. And, and ultimately we settled on the equivalent of the battle shell. That's why. Heroes on a half shell. Turtle power. Turtle power. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. You said it too best. fast. Oh, sad. <laughs> uh, before we get back to what you were saying, I, I have to know, oh, what color do you play? What color do I play? Yeah, magic. What? What? I don't. What does that even mean? 
<laughs> oh, are you talking about? Are you talking about MTG? You just ask people their colors. Yeah, yeah, on. MTG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm either blue all the way or blue red. Sometimes black. Mm. What color do you red? <laughs> Sometimes black. Um, How about you, Sam? What you, what you play? I, I usually go with the the red, black, green types. Mm. Yeah, the red, black combo. Do you do squirrels? Yeah. Are you a squirrel guy? I, right now, I'm running more of like a, like a parasite. Okay. Day. But you know about the squirrels. Yeah, that sounds like something you would do. You're always like trying to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you know about the squirrel, right? Like, you know, the, the, the green squirrel brigade. Like the... The green squirrel brigade. <laughs> oh, is that the one where they summon like a billion tokens? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Squirrels. It's, those are crazy. Oh, it's, like that, uh, it's like one of those 1950s movies where they take like an innocuous animal. And by the way, this is the most terrifying thing ever. <laughs> Uh, and I will say mm-hmm. this: I do run a shitty fucking mill deck, so I mill. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I like those decks. <laughs> I think like decks that play with the graveyard. Yeah, no, stuff like that is always so, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when I'm feeling when angry, I just I'm run like, a I'm weird bring out my mill deck. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I just run this weird deck where, like, I just re- recycle my enter the battlefield abilities by just uh, making everything phase in and out of existence. Oh, that, well, that's so, that, that's flicker, a thing flicker, too. flicker, flicker, flicker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Jace. Uh, I I would say Jace is my uh, my bay as far as uh, I love counter spells uh, mm. and, and then ran that a bunch too. Uh, there's, <laughs> but yes, uh, those that those are. Like I did, but I did. To be fair, I did start off with a white weenie deck. So <laughs> I think that's where everybody starts. Like that's yeah. the like what you get. They like they hand you that when you're getting taught how to play. Yeah. Like here, this is the easy one. Use this. Yeah. Uh, I I did, and later on I did evolve to making a uh, a uh, avatar last air, airbender deck. Uh, so I just Ooh. made like an all colored one with all element stuff and it was very difficult. That's really cool. It was diff- difficult to play, but when it worked, it was mm. very... I, I've always been, like when it comes to card games, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. Yeah. If there's like a dragon archetype, mm. that's me. There you go. <laughs> dragons all day. Dragons all day. <laughs> I like dragons. Well, they had, this, they had the dragon set. There was like a few years ago, they had the dragon set. Like, they had a bunch of dragon set. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have a mm. dragon deck or... I I did a long time oh, ago. But yeah. I'm not too crazy in the magic enough to you know be buying cards like that. But no, that's the thing too. <laughs> but Watsi has made it kind of weird to be into magic these past couple of years. Like, yeah, I didn't mind the Autobots uh, being thrown into magic because <laughs> like okay, that's kind of neat. No, that didn't I, I like Transformers. <laughs> that didn't happen. Not not legit, dude. No, no, no. I, I gotta no no. Are you like are you joking or is that like did that no, actually dude, like a I, oh, yeah, that did happen. Oh my god! Uh, let's what? see, where did I put it? I got like, uh, here's oh one. It's a foil. I don't know how well that's going to work with the camera. Oh, there. What? Put, what? That, yeah, that's oh my god. the old oh, one too, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that one is Ultra Magnus. Oh my god! And okay, well. I got a couple more uh, at hand in here. Okay, RC. That's the girl one. That's the, the you know. Somehow they managed to give a transformer a gender. Oh, hey, some of them have tits. It, you know that one did, <laughs> and I, I only remember tits. her because that's of the like, movie. That's his headlights. <laughs> uh, the, the favorite one I have on me is uh, Soundwave because Soundwave is the shit, and y'all can't change my mind. Sure, but <laughs> how familiar you guys are with like Gurren Lagann? But why do those robots have tits? <laughs> that's the thing uh, that more about to have headlights like optimus prime he also has tits so mm. you know we want to get into technicality These little little pasties they got <laughs> you know there is a transformers tabletop is it really there oh, there sure, is yeah. and sure, yeah, yeah. and it runs off the yeah, same system my brother is uh, utilizing for his power rangers campaign that he's trying to put together the power rangers las vegas Oh yeah, <laughs> was they just? It's been a while since we've uh, heard him talk about that. Yeah, he still hasn't started it, but it's like he's kind of developing it here and there. Uh, I even helped him put together like a uh, kind of a rip off of a theme song <clears throat> for it, just because I thought it would be fun. 
dude. I've been watching the new Avatar, and it's got me wanting. Is it good? I haven't seen it Avatar yet. Campaign. I, I, okay. So I was a big fan of the original. So yeah, like to me, I like it because it's like we're seeing the same stuff more or less, just in like an updated and really like pretty yeah. way, you know. And I think that's cool in itself, but I know it's not for everybody. Okay, that's how it is. I've seen some of it. When, when, I, look, I, if, I think it's all right. Somebody says, but could be better. When somebody says. It's not good for being murdered. You like broke down, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> yeah. It so starts it's starts fucking, looking down, like kind of like a I've little been, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people who have like mixed opinions on it. I like it a lot. I'm just saying, if you're not like, this is fucking great. So that's, <laughs> I'm, uh, it's the best thing I'm I've ever saying, seen in my life. Because you know, you know, <laughs> T Lab is like hard to beat. Yeah. Is you know, in the original, so it's like what like. It's like technically one of the best American anime oh my God. series ever made. Like, what gets me yeah. for like live action things is like I always worry that the creatures, you know, one like piece, animal are gonna look fucking weird. Mm. But like the the weird like Avatar animals look really good. I mean that's cool. But like w- One Piece mm. that came out, it. you know, uh, last year that that shit was awesome. Yeah, yeah. she was amazing. Yeah, I liked it, and they gave Kobe so a plenty of screen time. It was awesome. It's like, you know what? Uh, I kind of wanted more Kobe. I wanted more Garp, and they had Oda like on hand, be like, "Yo, we're casting these people, and we're gonna cast them as the na- as the nationalities I said they were like five years ago." And it's like, "Yo, we're getting Brazilian Luffy." Fuck yeah, yeah. fuck it. I, it was great. It was fantastic. I love ethnic ethnically correct anime yeah Yeah. like that's where it's at like uh when they made full metal alchemist where they fell flat is having a bunch of asians play these uh germanic looking characters yes yeah it's kind of like if if there was ever like a vinland saga like live action or whatever i feel like they they would do the same thing they're supposed to be like nordic yeah like if you're gonna have a bunch of saga (laughs) these people better look like fucking vikings you know yeah Exactly. That's what that's what I really like about Avatar. Like you're seeing like the the nations that have their like you know nationalities and ethnicities are really showing through the live action. I like that. Great. A lot. I mean, I, w- I was really worried that they would all be white like, people. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, or, like oh. or like make it or weird, M- like, or like M- they did Shyamalan with the uh, the movie. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, like with M Night Shyamalan, like he's like, okay, the Fire Nation, they're all like from India, right? right? It was oh my god, <laughs> and that that was his casting, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> Bro, it's like, no, no. You're, you're off by like a few, th- like I don't know how many thousand miles, but you're off, <laughs> right? But he's like, you you got the spirit, I guess. No, because no, like, he was like, <laughs> and they're all dead. <laughs> They're all dead. See, nobody knows this, but they're all dead. Uh, he's an idiot, and that was awful. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, but that's cool. I mean, yeah. If you're like, it's if you, it, I'll check it out. I, I've been uh, reluctant. Yeah, I, I recommend. Okay, sure. okay. Well, there you go. All right. Nice. I, I definitely can say that the casting is on point, mm-hmm. and ever ever since One Piece happened, like all these that's uh, a high marker, all I these production. Too. Yeah, like they're just like yeah. once it set the standard, everyone's like, okay, we have to start casting things correctly. Like even the live action Yu Yu Hakusho was good. Was it? I haven't heard much about that. I watched it with my daughter, and my daughter is now in love with Yu Yu Hakusho. Nice. Hell yeah! Absolutely. All right, let's check the time here. Forty minutes in. Uh, Sam, you want to get us into the monster for this week? Oh, yeah. Sure. So, what was it? The week before last week, we talked about gin. We did so, talk about gin, uh, not the drink. Now, yeah. <laughs> now is a good time to uh, talk about their cousin. Are you talking about, like, <laughs> the, the gin? The like, the, the D-G-I-N-N? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The gin, the genies. The genie. Now I'm going to talk about the afraid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are we talking about Ifrit? Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. The yeah. Fire genie. Yeah. So for a quick description, the Ifrit were humanoid in appearance. They were very tall, generally reaching heights of 12 feet, 3.7 meters, and a massive solid weighing 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms. Dude, they were the size muscle. of a small titan. <laughs> they're they're oh, yeah. big. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so big. I thought they'd be like, you know, pretty large, like 
Wait, that, that's actually the... That's the height of one of the player characters in our current campaign, Aki It is. Yeah. She's what, like a half giant? <laughs> yeah, because like uh, half giants are such a big thing in One Piece. Mm-hmm. Sure. And then she yeah, decided to go big. half giant, like half long leg. So like she's big, <laughs> but like mostly legs. Long. <laughs> well, <clears throat> when you mentioned a freedom, like the only thing I think of is Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah right i don't know much about final fantasy but i'm pretty sure he's been in every single one very 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 reminiscent yeah, yeah, yeah. no they, they fall they fall they one thing about uh the all japanese games and and again i've mm-hmm. been in final fantasy i've been in persona like when they have uh, yeah. and and they have these creatures uh come in they really follow the historical uh yes. uh like uh, uh background of you know how they look and what they do and all yeah. that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to talk about this street because I got all day. I, I know how to beat oh. this. Yeah. I, I I'm going I'm gonna go deep into the lore, talk a little bit about Islamic Islamic culture, the city of brass. Just kind of give a you know description okay. and an overview of what they are. Yeah. So they were well muscled and had red or black skin that was always burning. For this reason many resembled devils and were often mistaken for them. Their bodies were supposedly composed of basalt, bronze, and solidified fire. Getting into the real world lore here. Ifri in Islamic mythology and folklore is a class of powerful, malevolent, supernatural, or demonic beings. The exact meaning of the term Ifrit is difficult to determine. It does not occur in pre-Islamic poetry and is only used once in the Quran. Now, we don't really talk about religion here, but for the sake of mythology... Everything first. <laughs> I'm surprised they show up in the Quran of all. Honestly, they show up at and it makes me think about yeah. how. Yeah, it makes me think yeah. about how like aliens and stuff are in like the Bible. Uh, like, <laughs> dude, like I, I read a little bit of one at one point because I was like curious, and like they had an yeah. entire chapter just to be like, yeah, if you, if you adopt a kid, don't screw them out of their inheritance, and like <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole chapter all about dowry rights and inheritance. I'm like. Okay, I, I'm starting to see why they are very, uh, very theocratic because, like, mm. that's a very business chapter for a religious. <laughs> right. true, true. So often, when you see uh, the reference to the Ifrit, it's with the phrase "the Ifrit of the Jinn," right. where it seems to designate a rebellious member of the Jinn. The phrase recurs in the Hadith narratives recounting Muhammad's words, actions, or approbations. Arabic philo- philos- philologists, okay, not philologists, <laughs> generally assigned in the transcontinental route, ifr, to which they attached the meanings rebellious and strong. Okay. Free subsequently came to refer to an entire class of formidable and rebellious beings, being these attributes through the characteristics of an afrit remained vague and unstable. Kind of like fire. Uh huh. <laughs> Popular okay, tale so generally. It's like the, the very con- concept of fire exactly right they're, okay. they're like the embodiment of you know the roaring wild yes. flames of creation and destruction. which is which is why in in, in both uh previous mentioned franchises uh when mm. you summon ifrit he 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 it's a he shoots a giant ball of fucking fire at you uh there's always nice. fire involved <laughs> he comes he is the fire summons yeah, yeah. and now you know talking about ifrit now i i was watching uh reincarnated as a slime like a few weeks ago and they have you know an interaction with someone getting possessed by an afrit spirit and it's pretty much the same thing like you know embodiment of yes. fire yes true creature of the heat yeah. like i love it Dude. so popular tales generally depict an enormous winged creature of smoke either male or female who lives underground in frequent rooms ifrits live in a society structured along ancient arab tribal lines complete with kings tribes and clans the uh, Afrit are often associated with the underworld and identified with the spirits of the dead and have been compared to evil Jedi Losi in the European culture. Mm-hmm. Mm. In Islamic scriptures, the term Ifrit is always followed by the expression of the jinn due to the ambiguous meaning of the term jinn, which is applied to a wide range of different spirits. Their relation towards the genus of jinn remains vague. It's kind of like uh, during our jinn episode, I talked a little bit about genies, a little bit about Ifrit, how they're similar but not quite the same there's a few distinctive you know denominations 
I did kind However, of latch on to one thing you said there, Sam, yeah. with the male and female uh, Ifri wow. and like always being like these beings of fire or smoke or something. Just mm. like, could you just imagine just being, you know, going about your day and then you just see this giant plume of fire? Like, guys, is it just me or does that fire have tits? Uh, yeah, well, look, we, we've all played Skyrim. Yeah. No matter how many fire resist potions you got. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do not fuck the flame agent. Okay? <laughs> General rule of thumb. Yeah. In the Quran itself, such an Afrit is mentioned in Quran 273840. The Afrit offers to carry the throne of Bilquis, the queen of Sheba, to King Solomon. And a freak from the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place. And verily, I am indeed strong and trustworthy for such work. However, the duty is not given to him, but to somebody who is endowed with knowledge of the scripture. Hmm. All of that to say, I believe the, the jinn didn't really <laughs> believe in the, the beliefs of you know the Quran and Solomon and all that. They were kind of their own, you know. Yeah, like uh, they seem to just exist beyond, like they're mm-hmm. kind of like have their f- foot in like all kinds of, uh, in a little bit of everything. Cause like yeah. almost celestial, kind of fey, kind of devilish, mm-hmm. uh, uh, very elemental. Like uh, they're embodying like a lot mm-hmm. of different aspects all in one creature. That, like yeah. I, I know that they're elementals, but like they're, they got a lot of bases covered. Yeah, here. but I think, I think they, oh, yeah. the big thing with the Afrit uh, is, uh, in uh, in a gaming sense, they are always strong and noble. Like you can call mm-hmm. upon them uh, because yeah. uh, you know it's that don't judge a book by its cover, and this fucking mm-hmm. book will burn you to fucking hell. So like, right. <laughs> and, you know, no matter their that. place, while well, they have this chaotic exactly. nature, they are generally yes. good or evil. Can be and, and evil. they and they act as it's, such, right? So. It's, it's like El Tigre. Right? <laughs> exactly like El Tigre. <laughs> exactly. 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 Well, we'll have to wait and see. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so now what? Is, is this... You, you, gave, you gave the definition. Am I supposed to tell you how to beat this creature? Not quite yet. I can do get it. Like, <laughs> well, that, that is a thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to go over the Forgotten Realms information in the world. Okay. So the free word type of genie, native to the... El- El- Elemental plane of fire. They were unpredictable creatures with fiery, smoky forms and protect, spectacular proficiency in elemental and non elemental arcana. Mm-hmm. So, we're talking about the city of brass here. Floating amid the elemental plane of fire, the city of brass was the epicenter of a free culture and was the place from which the Sultan of the Afri ruled. Mm-hmm. Considered the oldest city in all creation, the city of brass has been long known as the hub for planar travelers and trade. Prior to the Dawn War, it was part of the vast empire of the Wind Dukes of Akbar. Or Akbar. Ak- Gesundheit. Ak- <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> they got words. You know, it, it's very funny that you said that, um, Ryan, <laughs> 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 uh, about them, you know, having such a root in different cultures, considering their you know, city is like a hub for travel and yeah. trade, which I think is really fucking cool. Yep. So over the years, the city of Brass was subjected to a number of attacks from outsiders. One notable occasion was when an archmage by the name of Tzunk attempted to conquer the city of Brass with the help of a potent artifact called the Codex of Infinite Planes. Uh, Even with the powerful tome, he could not best the four million of freed that protected the city and was eventually defeated and bound before the Sultan. Arguably, the city's first notable defense was its uncanny ability to float above and away from most threats. However, the city was still susceptible to flying intruders crossing its walls. The guards did not take such attempts lightly. And while I was reading about these soldiers, I thought it fun to quote the legions of the Afrit army. <laughs> Just to kind of give you an idea of what, what that's actually like. So the armed forces of the city of Brass dwarfed the large armies of Faerun and came in a bizarre array of legions. So first up we have the Unquenchable, 3,000 to lead and fanatical of free guards. We have the Eternal Crimson, 100,000 common of free soldiers. The Alls, Al-Asaf, 25,000 horse archers and lancers. We have the Angels of Death, 35,000 Afrit archers, the Striders, 10,000 dragoons, 
the Black Eagles, 3,000 Johnny Soldiers, Black Darts, 2,000 Man Scorpion Slave Soldiers. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> we got the Bronze Phalanx, 1,200 Azer Siege Engineers. We got the First Lancers, 1,000 Notable or Free Cavalry. Sorry, Noble or Free Cavalry. We have the Order of the Fiery Heart, 500 Griffin Mounted or Free Nobles. We have the Watchfire Legions, 40,000 or Free Irregulars. I'm not really sure what that means, but that sounds cool. We have the Illuminated, 50,000 City Guards. <laughs> the Sultan's Own, 4,000 Salamander Skirmishers. We have the Branded, 150 of Free Mamluks. I'm not sure what that means. And in addition to these considerable forces, a colossal navy of 18,000 individuals crewed the Sultan's personal fleet. So do not fuck with the city of Brass, <laughs> basically. I last guess but not so. least, I'll go ahead and get into the stats and abilities of the common and free. So looking at their stats, they have a strength of 22, a dexterity of 12, constitution of 24, intelligence of 16, wisdom of 15, charisma of 16, being a normal CR of about 11. Hmm. Getting to the first ability here, we have elemental demise. If the Afri dies, its body disintegrates in a flash of fire and puff of smoke, leaving behind only equipment the Afri was wearing or carrying. Hmm. No free dust, you know, or blood or anything for you to harvest. <laughs> we have innate spell casting. The free innate spell casting ability is charisma with a spell save DC of 15. You can innately cast the following spells requiring no material components. We have at will detect magic three times a day, enlarge, reduce, and tongues. And once a day, conjure elemental, fire elemental only. Gaseous form, invisibility, major image, plane shift, and wall of fire. Mm. You know, all the classics, the greatest yeah. hits, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. What more could you want from the hottest boy in the realm? Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, now that I've kind of gone over everything, we do transition to our IRL fight score. So, question for the Orions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You think you could take one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. Always. But, uh, I, I want to hear this because, like, yeah. I, I always love the creative ways that people are like, okay, uh, how would I fight this? Because, like, usually my IRL fight score uh, ideas come <laughs> down to, okay, maybe I can, if I'm, like, a little bit of prep time, I could ram it with my, with a car. <laughs> <laughs> Run it over. That's all it works. <laughs> it's quite easy if you think about it for just a second. It's not that hard. <laughs> the point is, when you're prepared, you can do whatever you want to do. This is what sorcerers do. It is not hard whatsoever. If you have friends, you can do it easily. If you're by yourself, you can still execute. So, what I would say. I feel emboldened. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody might want to. I'd like to point out that, like, uh, he has not lost his touch with that voice. Oh, it's really oh, good. No, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tiberius. <laughs> he's, oh, he's, he's, again, part of me. And he is part. <laughs> it's always. He is me. It's always easy. If you have the help. If you know the know the know it all mm. to what you're about to do, mm. uh, <clears throat> I fucked around a lot when it came to like campaigns and stuff. Uh, and you know, I'm I'm just gonna speak to this real quick. Uh, mm. uh, for the critical role people who are listening to this, mm. who <laughs> uh, we had this game going for a while, and I really love the ire. Of people like he said this to her. He did a half chub joke. Over <laughs> As Grab if no one ever made a head. dick joke in a game. I'm like, it's because <laughs> they've heard the same joke over and over and over. This is before this, yeah. is, this is before it was a show. And I I I I love that ire. We're like. He's a, how could he say that? I'm like, 
I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> the only reason that they don't like it is because they've heard it like a hundred fucking times. Like, and that was because <laughs> it was private because it was not a show at first. But I still, I, I kind of figured that because no. like, from what little I did see, like getting uh, into the first campaign from like my first uh, trying to get into Critical Role as the whole, like I ended up uh, really liking the third uh, campaign but that that's a separate uh-huh. thing altogether but it just seems like uh one of those things that you're transitioning from a home game and into this whole new thing and yeah. even at that point like uh over 20 episodes in weekly show that's still like how many months like this <laughs> is a few months into uh, that's it's only been a few months by that point there was there was that you've been doing this thing that that was at home for over a year yeah yeah, yeah. and, and no, there, there were like that mental separation does not have there there, were, there was uh n- few conversations of like i was like i don't want to stop this bit and me and matt would he'd be like mm. it sucks it doesn't work for <laughs> it doesn't work for the public i'm like yeah but it's like by bit and he's like i get it <laughs> it's like we get it but it, it's like it's not a show thing. I'm like I don't I don't care. He's like I know, <laughs> but you understand this is like a different thing. I'm like yeah I I know, but it, this is my bit. Like this like I, like creative I, differences. I, it, it creative, it, it, you know it's fine. He was right and 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 uh, and I was right. That's kind of the thing. Yeah. There, there's integrity to be had when you're doing something in your life. Mm. When you're playing a game. When you're working a job integrity is primus right and when we were doing this and we were having fun i'm like i'm not gonna stop doing the fun bit and when people watch these episodes they're like i can't believe he would do i'm like you don't fucking know (laughs) how many times these assholes have fucking heard this same stupid joke a hundred fucking times that's why they're reacting that way and I'm like, and I, yeah. I, I kept telling him like, and he's like, he's like, you understand? Like, he's like, hundreds of thousands of people are watching us. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm like, I'm gonna still do. You know, the fun. It, it's the funny thing about all that is, Critical Role is credited with bringing tons of new players into the <laughs> hobby. So, people that haven't played D and D before are just like, oh, hey, wait a no. Th- this is uh, no. that's a little they, weird. They, they spun it the right way. Like they, they did it and that's, you know, why they're doing their thing. And I was just, I refused. And I was like, no, I'm like, this is fucking funny. This is our game. And I kept saying that this is our game. So I'm going to do yeah. the same shit that I've done. Uh, so, so, it's the whole, like, you don't want to change just for the scene. Yeah. And it was a mistake. Uh, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, but, but, but the, to, to credit both the, the, uh, you know, how to approach uh, a game that way, right? How to work a game, mm. you know, and stuff. I, I still kept up the same bits uh, because I just didn't want to change the bits. Uh, uh, I, 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 I stand by what Robin Williams said, um, who I love, and he was like, comedy is what you are, you know, um, mm. and, 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 and that's, and that's, mm. I thought those things were funny and it's, it's just a, a, a weird thing. So when we talk about, right. I'll bring it back to, uh, uh, Sam, uh, and the, uh, Freddy, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what coming full, full circle. circle, full circle. Um, <laughs> but, uh, when, when we talk, when I talk about that, it, it reminds me of, um, this campaign when this was a private campaign by the way so this is like before the show right and we had this boss right. that mercer threw at us and uh i i went bonkers like uh, uh the, the, like uh there was like a pit we had to like climb up to that was like uh, like a like there was a rope and there was like you know like 50 feet or 100 feet up or whatever we had to like climb to this thing and this when we when we all climbed up uh i or no uh 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 uh, travis was attacked by this like gigantic monster and fell like 
a hundred feet down, right? And uh, right, all of us were up at that center of where the boss fight was supposed to be, but Travis did a thing where, uh, oh no, yeah, yeah, Travis did a thing where where he confronted the monster, and so he was like uh, attacked and like was thrown down from where we were. It was like this weird well thing. And I was like, fuck this. I did like a Neo in the Matrix dive, <laughs> dive down the well. I'm like, I'm saving him right now. Uh, and fucking dove down. I'm like, fuck this. And everyone's like, what is happening right now? And again, th this is not what people have seen, right? This is like us being homies. Uh, and and yeah. I was like, no. And I like dove down and uh, Tiberius, I, I, I had to do this like, uh, what is that? Uh, God, what's that spell? Uh, not, it's not fly. It's like float or fart. Featherfall? Featherfall, uh, thank Featherfall. you. Thank yeah. you, yes. So I, I had to like cast Featherfall, but he gave me, I had to roll a dice like to make this Featherfall work because he's like, you're doing a Neo dive right now. Like, like I'm just going down. He's like, Featherfall roll and Mercer was so so good at like again making every player comfortable in their decisions right which I think is, is is a great thing to think about with you know all you nerds listening is is that he he made he made this thing where he's like okay you're going to do this fuck you let's see how the dice works right like <laughs> yeah like, all right all right asshole Go ahead, do that, and and I did it, and I fucking passed, and, and you. Uh, I managed to feather fall, land, save Travis, fucking beat the shit out of the fucker who was uh, attacking him, and save him, and it, it, because his turn, he went like rage mode and just fucking finished everything because it was it was awesome. <laughs> In typical grog fashion, grog you know? <laughs> every day, every day, baby. Uh, but but mm. but that was that was the thing that that worked best in these situations. And I think in every situation, when you're you know, and I'll going back to Sam when we're talking about a fritz, right? And how to to deal with that? It's it's what do you have in hand? Like who is your who is your party? Mm. What are you dealing with? True. Like. Do you have somebody that can deal with these things? Do you have somebody, you know, in your party that can understand what it is, how to deal with it, and then how to deal with it? Like, like, because I think there's right. like a two-tier step when it when it comes to those those things. And when we talk about all these uh, mechanics in gameplay. Right, it, it it's a thing where a lot of people don't understand. You you have to have someone who knows to allow you to do the things that you want to do, or not. Yeah. Right? Um. Sure. And so so, yeah. like bare minimum, there's got to be a chance. Yeah. Even slim, that's fantastic. Give give, give me a little bit of a, a wiggle room, as they say. Uh, to yeah. to go ahead and do that and uh, and they they were fan fantastic in, in that sense and when we're talking about the uh, uh, afrit uh, or afriti depending on where you're at uh, like those uh, creatures I would say either you are an alliance to them or you are. Mm -hmm. fighting them or you are controlling them so there's there's a difference and it, depending on what class that you pick on how you do these things i think that's a has a big influence on all that stuff i would definitely agree that's, that's my comment mm. to, to that let's say as you are normal person and all and a free shows up in your house <laughs> puff of flame he's like hey Run them hang. Oh, <laughs> that's easy peasy. You, 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 you summon Shiva, right? And ah, that's what you do. The Uno reverse. She's going to fucking ice his ass 
real quick. Like it's it's that's that's how that works. But that's again in the uh, mm. Final Fantasy world. I, I mean, in the D and D world, it, you 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 need to uh, uh, make sure you always have a safe place. And this is coming from a sorcerer, so I don't know what class people mm. play, and that's cool. Whatever, I don't actually fucking care. But as I'm I'm a sorcerer through and through, <laughs> through and through, and I know all those things. So Mystic Step, mm. get Mystic Step straight up. You don't fuck around and not have Mystic Step. You got to do the damage and get the hell out on your out turn. Uh, uh, so, mm-hmm. so you do that. Um, prep yourself with elemental stuff. Like if, 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 if mm. there's a thing that you can prep, because there is, and you all know this, so yeah. you can do that. And, and and it's prep get the hell out and get the hell away uh and do damage 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 from afar the the, 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 oh, the one thing that uh which and i'll speak to critical role again uh which which, which 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 there was there was a discussion i asked i'm like what's the diameter of my fireball like and it, it wasn't and he didn't quite get it that time point for me but <laughs> but you didn't get <laughs> diameter versus like go and look at it oh. this, this, this is the bait so go go find those episodes mm. uh but but this is where i was like okay so like uh like the diameter of the fireball like as it's being cast versus uh the diameter of exactly. explosion so 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 mm-hmm. it, it, it's a thing of like who damages what and how it damages you know, all that stuff. Uh, be careful of that, but do it. Uh, I always suggest hashtag fireball. So there's, they're like, oh, always, <laughs> always. If you're a sorcerer, go and do that. Nine out of 10 wizards would agree. I don't want to imagine uh, that you want to use fire against them. If- no, no, no. <laughs> oh, it, it still works. It doesn't heal them. I mean- Fire fires fire. Is, 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 fire. Yeah, but I mean, but yeah. then you have, you have the. That is true. You know, Maybe he'll see it as like a power move and like <laughs> be like, you know what? I respect that. It's, it's like how Sukuna pulled out the fire arrow against the fl- the the damn volcano. That's the thing. Curse. That's the thing, Sam. <laughs> yeah. That's where counter works. Oh. You hold your yeah. counter. True. Counter spell. That's so true. Which has. <laughs> He was like, "Oh, really? We going fire?" Well, here's the fire? thing, too. Okay. I had a bunch of weird shit that Pathfinder allowed me to have during that campaign, like, like I had the Krull, you know, blade from the movie Krull, uh, and I know you're too young to to know that. Uh, <laughs> I I swear to God, like if you're not, then <laughs> God bless your bathing techniques. Um, <laughs> the secret to youth is bathing just saying, techniques. Just saying, <laughs> if you're older than me, Black then shut crack, up. Baby. But if you know what crawl is, it's this cool ass fucking thing. I put it, I put it in the show uh, where um, I got a lot of shit when I was on Critical Role <laughs> for killing an old lady <laughs> with with his crawl blade. <laughs> I threw, sliced her fucking <laughs> oh shit open, God. and people were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Killing old people is pretty no, standard D and D practice. No, no. He attacked us first. That's ah, that's, I see. Uh, I'm just saying from personal experience. Are we like, equal uh, or not? You know, are men and women equal or not? <laughs> if we are, then fuck you. <laughs> I she shot fire. First. She was Greedo. Okay. Look, man, I I'm on the Kazuma side of equality. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying she attacked us first, and I threw a crow blade at her face, and everyone's like, "What the fuck?" Um. You think just because it's an old lady, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, not gonna like? But, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. What like what the? If who cares? Because I'm respecting like, you. Name, killed, <laughs> you killed, uh, uh, which is it's a running gag actually, which, which I really love for all my <laughs> fans out there. By the way, I love you so much. But it, like they're like, like dude, like why? I'm like, Greedo shot first. Greedo shot first. Greedo shot first. <laughs> Greedo shot first. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you gonna do? 
<laughs> it's the classic I'm at saying, that point. Uh, that's what that was. But uh, again, it was an atmosphere where that was allowed to happen. And it was super fun. Right, mm. right. You know, like. <laughs> I imagine now if I was watching like a Critical Role stream and like Liam just starts bodying an old person. Actually, can, 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 I, can I talk real quick about my, my favorite? I know we, Orion, we didn't talk about this before, but can I talk about my favorite uh, uh, moment in, in the show? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay with is, is that yeah, I was saying? actually going to ask about that. <laughs> so go right ahead. Like you're saving me time on a bunch uh, of questions. Sam, is that cool with you? Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my, my favorite point in time in, in that show is when we, it was the first year Geek and Sundry and I did this uh, item item math and it was with sam regal and i love him to death um and it was about an item that he had that i should have had and i mm. this was live it's you can find it somewhere and i was like so you've you you viewed this item zero times i could use this item every single time every time every time and <laughs> i did this like this like I won't do the whole thing, but like I, I, I broke down this like this item math and like it's one of my favorite memories that I can die with. And I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, like everyone, everyone was fucking dying, you know, laughing like because <laughs> Even Sammy, he's like, he's like, you motherfucker. He's like, he's like, and 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 I, I, I'm from UCB, uh, Upright Citizen Brigade. I, I've improv. He's from UCB as well. He's in Second City. This is th these are uh, improv institutions and that we've studied under. Um, and yeah, I'm actually familiar with yeah. UCB because I've listened to some podcasters that have uh, gone through yeah, there uh, as well. I've never um, heard. Of yeah. That. <laughs> well, you, 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 you sh are you, if you're in LA, come over to have a visit. If I ever go to LA, I'm definitely yeah, checking that out because, like, you know, kind of get these skills yeah, it, up. I, I am subpar, so I want to be, uh, yeah. It, no, every, every show that you've like, <laughs> seen, like, in the last like 15 years, like, uh, it has been heralded by these people, like, uh, you know, 30 Rock, uh, I mean, I mean, it, it, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey. Uh, all, all these the, like like they're the founders of UCB like um, and they're, they're like the gods of comedy um, and uh, uh, I, can, I I'm we don't have time for me to name all these people but 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 most of the people that you watch now they're either writers on it or they're actors on it and they come from there. Uh, Second City was like That's really cool. key. Uh, Groundlings was like really great in the 90s but they do more character based stuff like chris farley which you know mm. rest in peace um but that doesn't work anymore for comedy now and we all know that um but but uh these these wonderful people uh i i know and i've been trained by great people uh eugene cordero uh mm. who's on a few, he was on loki he's on a couple of things he, he, he was my first teacher um uh doing ucb and he, he he's incredible um along with several other people uh josh simpson like they're, they're, they're just a lot of great people who have been here who showed me to just be like hey fuck it right like fuck it just right. go and do um that's and, and, and most of the time that's like what we all have to do right um and uh yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I lost my track. The fight, the fight, <laughs> the fight, the fight. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> we, we, when we went back to it, uh, you know, I, I just kind of use all the shit that I could use, and uh, the fight. It was it was just so much fun. Like like. It, it, it wasn't about um, numbers or about what's going on. It was about allowance, you know, from a DM mm. to a gamer. Right? When it, and, and I'm bringing it back to the, the, the D&D side of stuff, uh, of, of like how things can work 
and why things can work right and uh mm -hmm. and they were all just so wonderful about that um i uh of course took extreme advantage about all of these things so <laughs> Of course, naturally. <laughs> so that that was. Uh, I like mean, you do. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, it, it, like, I think the funniest thing about um, uh, what's happened over the years is, yeah, because of social media and all the stuff, where it was a very mm -hmm. private thing to a very public thing, um, and uh, yeah, that was a dramatic shift uh because i was going through a lot of personal stuff that i've overcome uh they were going through a lot of legal stuff that we all overcame i don't know if that's proper term but 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 probably not the legalese term yeah. like uh, they they got they got all kind of <laughs> sure. terms and like we have to hire yeah. a translator yeah. it's called a lawyer you know, latin yeah you don't have uh, one of those here but you know, <laughs> don't tell them sam <laughs> but that's the thing though. they're all like like with everything i've just talked about they're all you know really good people um and uh and i just didn't want to or couldn't uh, at the time, like follow in line, I think the thing with uh, and I'm going I'm I'm going way back by the way, so this is like a long walk, just so you if you already know Ryan, mm. God it's so weird saying that. Uh, it's so weird <laughs> I know right fucking saying that shit, <laughs> <laughs> but taking a, a way long what walk. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, dude. Me and my buddy Plank here are all buckled up for the walk. Fit in perfectly already. <laughs> but it, it, you know, the, <laughs> Seb, oh, see, this is why you need to fucking yeah. watch Willow the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, Sam, Plank says you should watch it. Lord of the Rings. I, I mean. <laughs> Look, girlfriend really, asked me if I would watch it with her. I already gave just, her the yeah. So we're gonna do it. Side uh, two weeks to watch those. Movies. You need yeah. You need like two weeks. It's okay. Uh, but no, like you know, going back to that and, and uh, to what the, what you asked earlier, it's uh, it's a thing where something happens with friends and with with this whole process. It, be it becomes something else. Um, uh, hmm. I'm friends with a couple of them uh, still, and 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 uh, I and, and I love them. Uh, I wish nothing but love to them. Um, and it's a lot of business versus people. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like it sucks to see those kind of things kind of uh, happen, but you know that's just the way of the world at these at time, you know. Yeah, when you when you turn something that was personal into something that's now like open to the public, it's it's hard to keep that like together. Yeah, I feel. Oh, Ryan, sorry, I, that was like a question yeah. you asked me like twenty minutes earlier, and I finished. It. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no! Dude. Worries, dude. Ben's awesome. It, it, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Like, um, oh, man. but yeah, yeah. It, it all comes around. Like, that's the cool thing with this show is that we go off on tangents all the time. And like, that's one thing that you got right here. Cause mm -hmm. you, when you go off on a tangent, eventually we come all the way back around, just like you know, a, when you're doing your home game, yeah, everyone's like, Oh, Hey, a joke about this. And then next thing you know, we've gone a full 20 minutes talking about <laughs> that's, that's why like, I love oh, doing this one because it really does feel like we're just sitting at a table, like in the middle of a game, like yeah. <laughs> chewing the shit, chewing the shit. <laughs> like, and it's, okay. it's next crazy. question. And that's just, I enjoy <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. and I feel like, you know, now would be probably a good time to segue into the news. You know what? I do have a little bit of nerd news, news for this Ooh. week. So I'll, yeah. Maybe I'll we, hear the stinger this we time. Get the, 
News <laughs> and homebrew. <laughs> that's a that's a Jay Z song. This is TNF bringing you nerd news. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys heard the little stinger that time. <laughs> news and home rules. We got to do the news. Mo- like, oh, come on. This time on Nerd News. <laughs> <laughs> so, sticking in the uh, realm of critical role, mm-hmm. I don't know if I, y'all know this, but recently, last night on Twitter, like Matt Mercer put out a couple little. Uh, tweet videos just letting the fans know that he's taking a step back from social media due to uh, feeling kind of depressed and a lot of social pressure over these past few years oh my god i can i can only imagine because like i remember when all the you know wizard of the coast stuff was going on and like D D beyond and they were like that's contractual really say anything yeah I would I'm imagine you, so. It's no, just no, like no. people no, put so much pressure. pressure on them to, it's to come up with statements. <laughs> yeah. Like they, they wanted to stand with, you know, the community and the people, but they're like, we're literally under like the Yeah. Thing. Like they had their thing going on and the community's like, why won't you mm-hmm. say something? Uh, I don't know. It's almost like there's uh-huh. business it's going on. It's almost like, oh my God, we can't make more money. <laughs> Yeah, it's wink, like, you, wink. Know, you, I don't you gotta know, keep like, things like, like <laughs> it's one of those things where everyone like you know what's going on so so don't be rough about it don't go harassing the the people that entertain yeah, you yeah you of know? course of course not but they have like oh, you know see, a multi-million dollar see. deal with the things that he was writing stuff for like it, it, it it's i i, I won't mm-hmm. i won't stand for this this is this is theater I won't stand for. Mm. So if, if I can speak to this, this is something where mm. they had a really nice fucking spot, right? I got hurt by that spot. Yeah, I am bitter mm. by that spot, and because of Wizards of the Coast, because they fucked it up so much, they're hurt by that spot. So their multi-million shit mm-hmm. is getting hurt by that spot. So they are pulling out much like a lot of people should when they shouldn't have kids what i'm saying is that this is not a thing where it's not coincidental i don't believe in coincidence mm-hmm. there it doesn't exist yeah ever so so so, so there isn't and anybody who's yeah. thinking about this i don't care how much you like yeah but you're a fucking dick yeah i am a fucking dick whoever you comment <laughs> fuck you I don't care. <laughs> Fuck you. But the truth. To, to, to be fair to the commenters, which Orion? The first what, <laughs> one. I'm older. He's younger. The first one. <laughs> He's got seniority on me, Sam. Yeah, uh, no, I'm junior over here. Can't so argue with that. Not, not homeboy. He, he, he's younger. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it's. Fuck yeah. He's like the, he's like the Jesus saying, of Orion. I, am, <laughs> I might be. I, I just might be. <laughs> I just might be. Oh my God. The, one the, Orion, true Orion. the The Council yeah. of Orions have long since talked about the Orion Messiah that can absorb no. all the hate well, of no. the internet. Every, every, the one every Orion single, single. So, second Orion. There's a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Orion two. I had to do it once. <laughs> it's Orion 2, Orion Electric Junior. Boogaloo. The, no. The, the, yeah. Shouldn't and Sam. Dear Sam. <laughs> uh, uh, Sam. No, this is all opportunist fucking business. It's Mm -hmm. pulling yourself away from shit that makes you look bad. They've done this for years, every fucking time. I can give you a list of people that have been in the media who have been me too and blah, 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 that they've pulled away from instantly Mm -hmm. because they know them and I know them and fucking everybody knows each other and we all know that we're all pieces of shit. Like, it's, it's not... It's not fucking goddamn science. Like this is this is rudimentary math. One plus one equals like like 
Yeah, I, 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 feel I like feel definitely that. in in this culture we have going on today, of such a such a social media, you know. Yeah, like thing. everyone demands a like you have to have a political stance on everything. Yeah. When it's like you don't, you actually don't. Like if if someone comes at the nerd militia here, like, hey, what's your stance on X, Y, and Z? We don't have a stance. We have a bunch of people that are all incorporated into right. our little crew here. They all, all have people. different opinions. Not so like guess real, what? Like real people. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the thing. We're all people at the end of the day. People get like these celebrity, like fucking. What are, what are they called? Like uh, e celebrity? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What's, uh, what's human the being. Word I'm looking for here. Were they? I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they they treat these like celebrities, human like they're not even people. Right. Yeah, it's because they become a exactly. construct in your beings. mind. You know, right. like. Mm-hmm. And it, we're it's all really, people are all just trying to do our own shit. Yeah, like, like you're saying, like it's important to remember that these uh, famous people, they are still Human people, beings. and yeah. it's like they just let them. Like they don't need to come out and have a stance on all these things. Mm-hmm. And like Matt's been getting blasted on the internet just for the whole like because uh, <laughs> the fans demanded a stance on the Israel Palestine, and then uh, after. Um, Oh yeah, that that's part of what, what that, led to this. Wait, that's wait, the thing on. when you I'm, have sorry. something that's like that big in the media, they they're gonna want you to like speak on it because they're like, you have a voice, you should use this voice. To yeah, that's part of the video that he uh, came out with last night. Uh, <laughs> where like uh, there was a lot of harassment online due to uh, like it started as like Critical Role was being pressured by uh, the a bunch of people in the fan base like hey uh where do you stand on all this stuff and then just they're like okay well oh uh, um, we, we i guess we have to say it. something oh, and then they do spend the next month being right. blasted about it and then like matt's kind of like shouldering all of this and it's just like dude that is a whole no, it's, lot it's, to it's, bear it's, in it's, addition it's actually, to all the know, i would, I would, it, I would say I would already disagree. doing you know uh it, it's a really fucking easy yeah. choice and the fact that because uh, how I know him and what they've done and uh, I mean, even with, I mean, there's been countless, uh, not countless, there's been like four. <laughs> there's, been, there, there's been a few occasions where somebody that they know very closely has come under fire and they just distance themselves fucking like 100% because they don't want to, I mean, yeah, they don't want to the hurt thing, the brand. They gotta think about like they don't want to hurt business. the brand. Yeah, they're they're fucking business. They don't want the brand. Model. They're like mm. they want to they want to stay alive they, and stay they, relevant. Yeah, they no, it, like it's that. not even that. They'll they yeah, they will they gotta kind of like st- take a step yeah, out Sam, of the ring, right. you know. They they, Just, they 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 do that. They don't want to hurt their like ultimate brand, right? So so they they're like, yeah, oh, we, this guy that I like, I fucking par- I personally parted with, like blah blah. blah. I'm not naming names because of law, but like the but but like when I'm like, right. oh. You step away from this person, that person, that person, that person who's been like me too or fucking all this other shit or th- this fucking this mm-hmm. policy, that policy. And they're like, we don't want to do this, this and this. It, it's very carefully calculated and it's not kosher. Uh, 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 yeah. A mazel to all my Jew friends. But the... <laughs> Um, but but <laughs> it, it isn't, you know. They do it for business. They do it because they know that it can hurt the brand. And quite frankly, it's respectable mm-hmm. on a business sense, right? So, so, so you have to respect right. that because that's what businesses do. This is what businesses do. Mm-hmm. This is how it works, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. And, you don't want to hurt oh, your brand. Man. You don't hurt your business. That's how it fucking works. But however, morally, no. Sure. They've never done the moral thing. When I needed help, and I'm going to get, uh, how about this? I'll get into personal shit. You know, uh, what was that like? Uh, what year is this? <laughs> Fucking. Sorry. <laughs> Current what year. year is this? Uh, no, but like in 20, you know, 15, <laughs> right? Like when I was going, because, because, oh, yes. you know, I, I was, uh, you know, and here, here's a heavy hitter thing, fuckers. Not you guys, but the listeners. Um. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I do refer to myself as. What do you say, fuck people? <laughs> you know, like, you know, uh, I fell into to, to drugs. I, I I had a record of of uh, doing shitty drugs for like at least three years before I got my fucking head out of my ass. And uh, it, it, 
Uh, damn, you need to yeah, get the I, oh, Absolutely. Stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> and, the, and, and all the ass was amazing. But, but what I'm saying is that, like, the, what I'm saying is that, like, <laughs> I, I, I got into a dark hole because of the success. And I don't talk about this often because I don't get a chance to. But um, what, what I went through then, I experienced a thing where I lost myself for a second and uh, uh, and mm. they knew about it. And this is this is where the crux of all this happens, where it was like, what's best for the brand versus what's best for the people, right? And uh, mm. and, and I had to go, you know. That 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 that's what that was. Um, and I'm and I'm still kind of in that position, but not really. Like I've done okay, but you know, I, I'm still working. I've done yeah. a bunch of work and all that stuff since but but the, the thing with them is that they're always concentrated on the brand and uh that is something that they're doing now and you're seeing what, what you just told me is really a, a, a justification of what i've mm -hmm. been through because you you're seeing it through the public eye yeah. i know it from a private eye yeah so so Personal. personal thank you very much yeah. but 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 that yeah. but, but but that's that's the difference so so what you're saying is truth and, and that's the important thing where people can be like oh we we don't know this guy. He, they're, they're they're donald trumping shit like oh they like, <laughs> so like, oh, never knew that this guy like raped all these girls we never knew like like they've done it like a bunch where they just Distance, and again, I can't say names, but they they distance themselves whenever something has been fucked up. The only reason that I'm speaking now is because I can, right? So so what I'm saying is that uh, w without putting any other people's uh, legal jeopardy, you know, into production, they that's what they do, right? And that's what they still do. So this whole I'm stepping away from social media, like that's fucking bullshit. It's like why why would you do that if everything was fine like if everything was fucking fine like mm -hmm. I, I get fucking sh hate all the time on social media and i'm still fucking on there so fuck you guys like yeah <laughs> so I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm like i don't care how shitty my shit is i'm not walking away because everything i've said and i've put out there is true and mm -hmm. and even even with even with the lies mm -hmm. between us because there are which is an important factor to make, mm. right? I lied to them. They lied to me. It's a whole fucking thing. But I can't speak to that. We're all human. No, people happens. being people. People being yeah. people. People, people. Right. I won't walk away. <laughs> I won't walk away from it because of these issues. It's a simple fucking issue, right? You you address it as is, mm. and you do what you need to fucking do. Be like, this is wrong. This is right. right. Wrong and right is fucking right in your face. Right, where 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 people are exposed and vulnerable mm -hmm. and, and need help and all these fucking things that are bigger than ourselves, th th like with the issue that you're talking about, Orion and Sam, like the, the 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 to have the wherewithal to just be like, no, this is fucking bullshit. It's an easy fucking answer. Mm -hmm. Just take the fucking answer. It, there's always that that fear of like, oh, what, what if, what if they get, they don't like that's this being, answer and they fucking exactly. stop yeah, watching. That's being a blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, there's always going to be diehard people in your audience. Like yeah. it's really hard to kill a that, brand that's what I'm if saying. you're big like, enough. They won't. That's why they know they can take a step back. Facts. They can turtle up. That's like a a, a term, you know, like mm -hmm. you just go in your shell and like, mm. we're, we're, we don't know. We don't. We're, we're. It's a solid strat. And like I'm hoping that we don't end up like a like uh, our whole thing with the nerd militia is just it's up and coming. We're we're nowhere near the size of anything uh, prolific like Critical Role. You might be though, and we're hoping like if things do, no, well, we That's very well might point. be. And if things do turn out uh, to be successful in some degree, I kind of rely on the people that I have in my circle now. Like I've had conversations individually where it's just like, you have to hold me accountable. Like mm -hmm. this, this is non-negotiable. Like if I start fucking up and doing uh, shit, I, I got to rely on uh, my buddy Matthew and Sam here. 
to be like, hey, call me out and keep you got to keep the path so that we're not like going into the realm of catering to a right. the, the, the mindless cabal of people out there they're just like hey you you have to have a thing for this this oh it's, it's we got to cancel that person integrity right Push like, them out you have there. To, we know what we did this for why we're doing this and like what our stance is on whatever it is and it's like yeah we're, we're not going to be anything but ourselves no, when it's recording i'm, I'm saying but the thing so is like, that it is <laughs> it's, it, the, the, the thing is uh, like you, you guys have that right like the whole time yeah. when, when we were doing stuff, like I would say Marisha, who I, my heart, I, I love her to death. Uh, she was the only one to do what you guys are talking about. She was the only one to be like, Hey, get your shit together. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, like, uh, and, and she's, she's a, a fucking gem and, uh, yeah. And, and, you know, honestly, like, again, I will say all of, most of those people are just amazing, right? Like I, 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 Ashley is incredible. Uh, Sam, I fucking love Sam to death. Uh, Liam, he was, Liam's, Liam's, Liam. Imagine, I'm sorry, not to cut you off, but imagine if this, uh, this episode is the one that somehow reaches. I hope so. <laughs> Oh, man, that would so. be crazy. <laughs> Dude, I just like being able to hear that uh, some of the people... I'm loving the side. I like being able to hear that people behind the critical role, like, that so many people look up to are, you know... Real people. Bro. You know, like, real people, I got fun stories, to be man. around in person, about how me and, you know? This is why I fucking hate Dude, celebrity Dude, culture. Dude, me, me and I just fucking, like, fucking troll, because I was house-sitting for uh, uh, Mercer and Marisha, and... Uh, he made the mistake of leaving his computer on and uh, I, I fucking <laughs> called Travis <laughs> over. <laughs> you I, fools! Our phones were all locked and there was a whole Twitter war where we would do a thing where we would tweet like shit that we wouldn't say like fucking like I like to eat poo-poo <laughs> fucking poo-poo pies. <laughs> Random crap. Uh, we did that shit and uh, Mercer and Marisha were like locked down but Fortunately, I was watching their bird, uh, uh, Dagon, which I miss. Uh, this is a good bird. That is uh, a great Dagon. name for a bird, uh, by the way. Uh, uh, but was... but uh, I was there and I was like, holy shit. Because I was trying to... Here's a dumb fucking nerd story. I, I, need, I needed to fucking log on <laughs> to World of Warcraft because I needed to fucking get on. Because I was like, we had a raid and I was like, I got to go and do the thing. Didn't you do I a did, voice for I, Warcraft? Uh, I did the mighty uh, Tauntaun fucking what the fuck is his name? I don't know, but but <laughs> I, I can't remember right now. The, the Tauntaun, it's on there. It's on that's there. the if, one. If, if you look, I can do the thing. But uh, but no, uh, I fucking we were, I was there and I was like hanging out and I was like I got it. I was like logging into their computer. I think it was Marish's computer, and I was like, oh fuck. They're still on Twitter. Oh my god! So I called <laughs> fucking Travis immediately. I, he drove over. I've got a golden oh, yeah. ticket. He drove over immediately. He's like, I'm there, and we fucking just like posted a bunch of shit <laughs> on their Twitter via the their computer, and it was it was fucking it was fucking wonderful. Classic. Um, so I'm just saying. Classic. The, I'm just That's saying, what friendship's all about. It was, it was <laughs> fun. It was cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> the, you know the 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 uh, the shifts you know, when a lot of money and everything else gets involved, everything changes. Uh, and and uh, that's kind of the yeah. thing that everybody should prepare themselves for, which I did not because I didn't care. Yeah. I just like honestly, I just didn't give a fuck. Like I, I was like in my own fucking heap of troubles and whatever and i just didn't give a shit um and uh marisha i think was the only one who tried to set me straight and like oh and erica ishii she was another one who, who 
Um, oh, she's cool. Uh, she she yeah. was. I mean, I made her demo. I made her a voice actor. Like like oh, oh yeah, abs- absolutely. Damn, oh, absolutely. Nice. Um, uh, I like I was her mentor for her first few years going in and uh, introduced her to. Uh, you know, I told her that Tal- uh, t- I told Talis, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, she's cool. Uh, and he's like, okay, cool. And then now she's, yeah. and I'm so proud of her. Uh, I love her to death, and um, I'm so proud of her and how much she cares. She's just, she's a wonderful human being, um, and I miss her very much. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, that, that 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 was when I was like, oh, we gotta, I'm doing this, we're doing this. Uh, <clears throat> she helped me with a lot of my antics. Uh, uh, <laughs> back then, um, but yeah, uh, God, I lost my train of thought because I'm thinking about her now, uh, which I haven't had to do in a while. But <clears throat> sorry, it's been a minute. Yeah, I would yeah, no, imagine. Um, yeah, she's. But before we get too off track, I'm going to just uh, kind of finish up with a little bit of what we got oh. for the uh, okay. news for this week. And then we can like uh, circle back because like I I love hearing uh, all these stories that you have. Honestly, I'm loving it. Yeah, like normally, like I'll dominate an episode, but like no, I'm about this. This is our (laughs) Ryan's 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 right now. Yeah, (laughs) yes. Yeah, you you know, uh, you know, uh, when you get like five Orions uh, together, we form (laughs) Voltron. I would. The world has never seen such which, a... Which one are you? Which one are you? <laughs> Masks. Uh, I am uh, the left leg. <laughs> which is weird because I'm right-handed. <laughs> my brain was like, he's a left... My brain was like, he's a left foot for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll take the left arm. I'll go blue. I'll go blue. Every yeah. Time I'll go blue. <laughs> That's an acting joke. <laughs> That's the way to go right there. So... In other news of uh, TTRPG space, Owen uh, Casey uh, Ste- Stephen Steffens, a highly respected uh, RPG designer known for his work on D and D, Pathfinder, and other games, like he's had his hands in like tons of uh, RPGs over the years. And apparently, this uh, guy that's been like like instrumental in designing all these games has uh he's got this whole can he's currently battling cancer which oh, dude heart goes out to you man and to you. he's got a whole go fund me campaign going on to help him out with his cancer struggles currently he's been able to raise thirty eight thousand dollars from about 600 donors and with an aim to reach 150k like ca- cancer uh treatments are no joke damn I wish him the best. You know? uh, same. I mean, I've, I've had family who dealt with, you know, stuff like that. And it's no. never easy. Oh, like, looks like it says here that there. he's uh, earned accolades such as the, uh, what is it? The any award multiple times. I don't know what, what that the, is, but you know, you since the, I do like this Annie? podcast, like maybe A-N-N-I-E? I should learn. Oh, I no, no. E-N-N-I-E. E-N-N-I-E. Any I was like the Annie Awards. I'm like, that's, 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 that's yeah, yeah. You, you look that up. The Annie like, Awards are for role playing game products and their creators. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so he is an award winning game designer. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, it's good to see. Uh, this is a life worth saving right here. But it looks like uh, he's uh, got his own uh, boss going with this. No. Did they really have to kind of like, well, okay, I guess that's the obvious uh, way to spin things when you're talking in, in uh, writing articles. And then they uh, ended off with, uh, as his radiation therapy has him confronting the monster with unholy fire. Unholy oh. fire, dude, that's radiant damage. Yeah, if you want to get technical. Is he talking to like a pope? I'm just saying. Like, uh, that's crazy. Th- that Wee. is. Radiation the... magic. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear wizards, just saying. And then the hey. other piece of news. Do we know? Well, hold on, Orion. Uh, do, do we know what state he's the... in? Oh, yes, yes. Um. Oh. Ooh, that's what a good question. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. Uh, Sam, let's, let's look. Yes, at this man. I up. mean that that that's a big thing because I'm like. 
you know, depending on where state you are, you can, um, there's options for that, especially with cancer treatment. And I know this very well. So if you are uh, hard hit on money, <clears throat> like uh, via California, if you don't have enough money to do that, you can just drop to Medi-Cal and then it's free treatment. So like, like these, these other states, mm. which fuck those other states, by the way, Fuck you other states no. for fucking making people pay for so much fucking money for goddamn treatment. Um, California has a lot of things. New York as well. Um, I believe uh, Illinois uh, has a, a, a decent program. So it, it, it all depends on where you're at. And uh, most of you Republican fucking states, and I will get political right now. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you <laughs> motherfuckers. You ruined everything for everybody else. I am so That's glad fine. I am politically fine. in the middle. People can hate me all they want and you switch. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, but because because uh, there are states <laughs> out there, uh, Oregon, and another yeah. one, if, if you have a certain, uh, you can claim low income and they will treat you and you, it won't fucking kill your goddamn yeah. fucking life on top of your life killing you. So... Yeah. Oh. Uh, I feel that because, like, I live in Maine, and that the low income insurance stuff is the I'm, only I, I'm reason saying, that I'm right? alive. So again, right now. Maine is a great state. Like, you know, we talked about that before. It, 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 so, so, so uh, that needs to be heard by people. Like, you you need to know where the fuck you're at, what your options are, mm -hmm. medically. I'm not exactly sure yeah. of like the stage or anything, but I did find a post on his Twitter from what looks like last year. Uh, says I have cancer. It was diagnosed in March 2023, but it didn't start then. In fact, mm. my best guess, my medical team, is my cancer first developed in late 2014. Nine years, nine fucking years since. Okay, so Seattle. Seattle okay, there you, so, there you go. So there you go. Okay, so that so a little bit that but, might but, tell but, you a little bit. Maybe no, not. Sorry, sorry. Like, for, for people listening, like know what your state is, know where you're at, like like know what your options are because uh, fucking uh, fuck hmm. Republicans. Okay, they've 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 fucked you. <laughs> Stop voting for them, you idiots. If you're voting um, still, like they fuck you all the time, and I don't get it. Where other fucking states will provide you medical care, everything else that you need to survive and be healthy. S fucking stop it. What the fuck? Sorry. I got, I got the best compromise for every part of everyone, but no one likes uh, what I have to say on this. Stop sending our money to yeah, causes that go to kill people good. and just take all that that's and push good. it into healing people. I would agree. People. 100%. That, that's a spicy take. <laughs> the military industrial Jeez. complex will not allow it. Spicy like salts on boiled chicken, man. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't fucking understand. Like, I love Texas. I'm like, really? Oh, are you sure about? Are you sure about that? Why? Are you sure about that? Texas doesn't love I'm you. Doing, I think you should leave by Tim Robinson. To, to be fair, Texas has that song, like the the stars oh, at night. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so looking into other news uh, this week, it looks like the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Ryan learned to talk. Uh, there's a open beta play test starting on March 12th this month. That is, uh, have you guys heard of Dagger? Yeah. Art? Oh, that's oh, oh, yeah, I have. That, that's where you uh, where where like she like you guys like make out and then you just kind of like do the, like a, a boob. Like sex, ayo, hey, dagger. Heart. Hold on, what? You, you know what? He the might be more heart. educated on this than I just, am, but like, I'm, like I'm, I I'm trying to, more. I'm trying to be really <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, it says here that it's a a new fantasy oh. uh, tabletop RPG from so Darrington Press, ah. and, and uh, the, the game designer Spencer Stark. Uh, who uh, worked on stuff like Alice is Missing, and I think he also worked a little bit on Candela Obscura. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so he's got his First hands in a Tony. bunch of different projects and whatnot. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Tony Stark giving us all the latest <laughs> in D&D <D> technology. <laughs> 
Uh, this D&D technology includes a system that uses a 12-sided die that representing hope and fear alongside with a card-driven mechanic. The character creation involves cards representing domain, subclass, community, ancestry, domain and other expense. abilities. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen all day. <laughs> so uh, it's it's for a rules light uh, style game, very similar to Powered by the Apocalypse or Avatar Legends. So if any of y'all listening are interested in that, check out the open beta. Yes, paint some blue. Free. Go into the water. It's <laughs> Because you, yes. you said the Dances Avatar. with Smurf. Yes. With, uh, it's because you said the Avatar. Ah, yes. Ah. You know what? We needed James Cameron <laughs> to raise the bar because no one else would dive down deep enough to go get it. <laughs> James Cameron does what James Cameron does because James Cameron is, in fact, James Cameron. <laughs> King of the world! Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking James motherfucking Cameron. Uh, 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 all right. So we have about. We got like 30 minutes, minutes left. left. What are you talking about? It's now a good time to head into our home room. <laughs> like, all right. So I guess you guys aren't going to hear the stinger, but I'm ooh. loving it. Generic realm! Generic realm! Lots of fun! Excellent! Ah, generic realm! Lots of fun! Excellent! You got paid $13 million for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the... I, I love the generic realm stinger because it's just our little play on the uh, goddamn Wayne's World. <laughs> Are you talking about that? Or like, it's... <laughs> excellent. No, 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 it's like it. Thing. Fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> generic realm. Generic realm. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that. Um, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, you know, specifically in a 1990s context. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. He's, like, uh, he's got that 90s grunge. I was thinking about like the Wayne's bro. We're doing, we're like, doing a little color, like. <laughs> and then that's like, a, so right, Sam. <laughs> that's a very different. <laughs> Boop it, doop. I'm gonna take my thing. Done. No. I'm just, I'm just exactly. <laughs> Do we have one more question? I know we have All a right. that we didn't even get to, but <laughs> go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, first, uh, thankfully, my homebrew this week is short and sweet. I present to you guys the Rage Hand spell. Mm. <laughs> oh, like oh. that's that's so, when you. That, that's when, is that, I, let me guess. Is that it, when you oh, fist no, somebody without loop? Uh, you know, under normal hand. circumstances, but you know, if this is a very special c circumstance, oh wow, this spell that has sixty feet of range. Power blast. <laughs> it's, right. Yes, it, it's something else entirely. So, rage. Oh, why just do that, computer? Uh, <laughs> so, rage hand casting time one action, sixty foot range, duration instant, verbal and somatic components. You summon a magical fist two feet in diameter made up of shimmering nope. translucent force made up nope. of a <laughs> shimmering no. translucent force field. The hand streaks towards a target that you can see within range with the That's... intention of punching the target. Make a make a range spell attack on hit. The fist strikes your target for one without consent six I don't force agree. damage. If the target <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay wait but like melee spells are always really fun to me i feel like oh yeah you see this one that's for range and once you're in melee range five feet it yeah. increases to it becomes a melee uh, spell attack that does 1d10 <laughs> force damage yeah, you know what? <laughs> and it scales as a typical uh, that, uh yeah. cantrip, does. A cantrip no no, that's too much. Yeah. I, I oh, like no, 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 that's that's too much for a cantrip. There's like that. That's like fucking giving fireball as a cantrip. You're like, yeah, fucking, what the fuck? Why not? Uh, 
<laughs> oh, it's just a little slap. <laughs> oh my god uh, uh i'll give you a quick quick thing right now uh in in our campaign right Critical, okay. uh, uh i before that i created here here's a fun here's a fun story come sue me fucking wizard of the coast i dare you um Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, yeah. Come get it. What's Come he get called it. out? Um, Here we no, go. Uh, I, I had this, uh, I developed this spell with Mercer, uh, Pillars of Defense, right? And and it was, uh, I could uh, summon pillar stones at like to a certain height. I think it was like 20 feet or something like that, or 25 feet or something like that, like uh, like at three at a time, right? And then if I, 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 I spent extra... Uh, okay. Uh, SP points, I could do more, right? So essentially, it was like I can be like everybody's in danger. <laughs> like it was again, Avatar: The Last Airbender. It, it was all, mm. yeah. yeah. But like but, but I would be able to fucking I'm... smash motherfuckers and kill them instantly if it like hit, right? So like it was a thing. Yeah. So a, it's a more fun it, version it, of ex- Earth Wall. Then they took yeah. that from me. Oh no! Because <laughs> I made Damn. that shit up, and then Rip. when we became a show, it was in the fucking book, and it, yeah, oh, and, and that's fucking for real. Shit. And I, I talked to ah. I talked to people about this, and I was like, "This this was my thing," and they're like, "Yeah, but they knew about it, and now we're with them, so they they what? Mm-hmm. exactly that you know, it's ours to be able to do that, and so." I'm I'm telling you, so everybody who has that ability is use it. That's because of me. Um, I'm, I'm saying Shout it was called the pillars, original creator. pillars of defense <laughs> uh, is what it was initially called, uh, and uh, that that was back in Pathfinder um, when we were doing shit. And uh, I'm just saying, so like later on when we became a thing, uh, there's some there's some there's some tea y'all can drink, like on that shit because uh, that's. That's the thing, and, and <laughs> I remember because when when I brought it up, uh, Mercer was like, "He's like, I don't know what to do." <laughs> he's like, "He was like, it, like he, look, it was totally cool." I mean, you know, we were, you know, we were, we were all tight, uh, and he was like, "He's like, I don't know, fuck, man." He's like, "I don't know, fuck it." He's like, "I fucking don't know what to do." I'm like, "I don't know what to do either." I'm like, but that was my idea. And I'm like, "Wow." He's like, "I don't know how to do," <laughs> and I'm like, but, "So props to him, uh, and, and much love to all of them, really." Uh, yeah. He does, he does oh, find no, a way. Uh, <laughs> opportunists always do. That's like how it works. Like, but it, 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 it's it's a thing where yeah. that time it wasn't that. It was just like we were homies, and he's like, "Oh, the fuck." Um, and and uh, but yeah, I mean, e- e- even at the end of this, you know, much love to all those cats. Uh, uh, because because they deserve it, and uh, you know, uh. I'm on the right track now, but you know, uh, I, 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 I fell, I, I, I fell off it. because yeah. I wasn't okay to be with the business when it came with that stuff. But, uh, yeah, so there's, the, there you go. A uh, little, 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 uh, pillars of fence history. So when you guys are like slamming up pillars to do stuff and all that stuff, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I did that. I did that. Uh, I did the thing. He did, did the, the thing. thing. That um, was me. Damn, I want to leave my mark on D and D like Honestly, at large right? with a, with a spell or something because like being able to contribute like an ability that people are right. like, oh yeah, yeah, this thing's amazing. I mean, hey, just keep writing yeah. weird shit up and then, uh, then. Yeah. Shout out to the, the creator of this <laughs> magic pimp slap. Magic pimp <laughs> like, slap. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Get you, get you the cloud that you deserve for this fun stuff. Yeah, the link will be in <laughs> the, the description. Good. Uh, okay, good. You I'm like, I want to know what the hell that is. Yeah, we always give credit to the content creators that we get these homebrews from. Well, we try to find, they you know, the original creators, the artists, whatever we can get, and give them yeah. the credit that, you know, oh, shit, doesn't Sam. like to give sometimes. Speaking of which, uh, Sam, you got yourself a you have a, a homebrew this week. What you got? I do I do? Today I present to you the Abolith Eye. 
Ooh. We talk a lot about, you know, using cards for monsters and, you know, how we can benefit their abilities. It's like a Frank, is it like a Frankenstein blah, blah, blah. kind of thing? Basically. Oh, nice. Kind of. This is a very rare attunement gemstone. The spherical gem is a dull gray color, but occasionally flashes with a red glow. It contains the essence of an abilis eye and grants you some of its psionic abilities. Ooh. Ooh. Right. I so always got, wanted to be a physic. Uh, <laughs> so we got amphibious nice. you can breathe air and water pretty standard you know telepathy you can communicate telepathically with any creature within 120 feet of you that can understand a language next up we have enslave as an action you can target one creature you can see within 30 feet of you the target must succeed on a dc 15 wisdom saving throw or be charmed the charm target is under your control and you can you and the target can communicate telepathically with each other over any distance Whenever the charm target takes damage, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on success. No more than once every 24 hours, the target can also repeat the saving throw when it is at when it is at at least one mile away from you. The charm also ends if you are incapacitated or on a different plane of existence, oh. or you die. You can only have one creature charmed by this item at a time. If you use this action on another creature, the previous one is no longer charmed. The target is hostile. I have advantage in the saving throw. Basically, like a like a enthrall with like a vampire. Just say right? that then. Nothing too crazy. I, I, I mean, it, it, I know, right? <laughs> it's basically like, the same. Like shit. that's a that's a roundabout like just, way of just, uh, saying it. It's just like so. And let me give you this. Stuff. God yeah, damn yeah. it! There's. <laughs> <laughs> Let me no, just rename. I, I always give a damn but shit. So this up. item does come. With a Sorry, Sam. Curse. I had to. <laughs> so the gemstone has a hidden curse that is revealed when you attune to it. While cursed, you are unable to end your attunement and unwilling to part with it. You also gain a flaw determined by the DM or by rolling the table below. So we do have a D6 flaw table here. I That's love nice. that there's a curse flaw table. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so first up, we have. Obsessive dreams. Your sleep is haunted by vivid visions of submerged cities, writhing tentacles, and forgotten knowledge. These dreams are both captivating and unsettling. <laughs> Love that. That just makes me think of like the Kanye West episode of South Park, yeah. where he's like, "No, I have to, I have to accept this." Yeah. A gay fish. Kill John Lennon. <laughs> Kill John. <laughs> Right, so With the yeah. right RP, this is hilarious. <laughs> I can see it. We have compulsive secrets up next. A whisper in your head urges you to uncover hidden truths and ancient mysteries. You become obsessed with uncovering forgotten lore, even at the expense of your personal safety or relationships. Can we just add like personal boundaries? Like I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I must discover like please tell me about your Try. traumatic backstory. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> please. <laughs> Next up, we have aquatic longing. You feel an inexplicable yearning for water. The deeper, the better. Wow. Whether it's a serene lake, a rushing river, or the vast ocean. You are <laughs> gay fish? <laughs> it's, it's, it's right it's there. Still, <laughs> it's still like gay fish. I'm okay with this. Like if you learn to read between the lines, we know what it's really saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's DM By the way, speak do for you know gay how many fish if I ever tracks, saw it. Yeah, yay fucking made after that shit about... <laughs> gay fish like three where he mentioned that shit he put that okay, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. i'm just saying so good. <laughs> we have a uh, sibilant speech you occasionally slip into a strange guttural language the ancient tongue of the apples while you don't understand the words you feel compelled to speak them aloud that's just autism. Okay, so you're talking shit in another language. Yeah. No. You're like speaking Spanglish, but like no one can understand you. Fine. You it's also autism. Like, I'm just saying. It's basically like, like I want pancakes. This right item now. makes you autistic. It's like, what are you saying? It's like, I don't care. It's basically drugs, too, because with this next one, memory erosion, your memories become fluid, blending past and present. You may forget recent events or confused timelines. Familiar faces blur, and so does that's just taking acid. reality and dream. Or mushrooms. I'm just saying. Basically. Yes. <laughs> that, this you is, do that's too many psychedelics. You're like, to you are you it's a fine. tree or my father? I don't know <laughs> what's happening. Sorry. Yeah. 
So the, the difference is it oh, doesn't fuck. go away, right. so that You're makes like, it a curse. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> sleep it off. To kind of go with the enslave and thrall thing. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, high yeah. that never goes. <laughs> okay, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> it just gives so you would... like fucking <laughs> the, Alzheimer's. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. ask Bruce Willis. Oh, no. <laughs> this next one must be. This one must be cancer. Exposure to bright sunlight triggers hair. discomfort and anxiety. You prefer shadow <laughs> places, overcast days, or moonlit nights. Prolonged exposure to sunlight might even Gingers. cause physical pain or weaken your this abilities. Is the, so, <laughs> yep. Now, you got, you, yeah. you know, this is, like. That's a ginger <laughs> thing. All y'all know. I, lo- I love you, redheads. I love mm. you, all, all of you. But and last you but not least, this- exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> you can't. Um, and Get some this sunscreen. Curse can be removed by a remove curse spell, cast a sixth level or higher, or similar magic. So I would assume that it's talking about like greater restoration, wish, blah blah blah. That makes sense, yeah. but it's just like mm, keep the curses. I need my players to constantly I, I, I need would, sunscreen. I would probably prefer that. Like <laughs> you need like a six level. <laughs> I would honestly just be like, you can't get on. Base. I would just I say, don't, don't get the ginger breaks. curse. Because, like, as all my <laughs> ladies and ladies know, it is bad. Um, and you're like, you can't go out in the sun or you die. Like, unless you need, like, 80 or 90 SPF. Start PSF. taking, like, radiant damage or something. <laughs> but shout out to uh, Timmy's Treasure Vault on Reddit. Uh, Thank you for this creation. Oh, to Timmy pretty, has uh, a Patreon. Go to him. Have a Patreon, yeah. Shout out to Timmy there. I'd give it a little bit of a look. Some really cool stuff on there. I love finding just like these creators on you know Reddit and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Because like it's just wild. Like the the redditor that I got the uh, homebrew that I showed you guys earlier. Like it was actually part of a batch of uh, spells where you just change one letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a Reddit user uh no team fifteen sixty eight. I feel like fifteen sixty eight is a I mean yeah, th- that was year. like the birth of um fish. I don't know. Um 15, I don't know. <laughs> the birth of fish. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that reference just made me think of how like in Beyblade, <laughs> Moses like split the Red Sea. <laughs> Where's my canonical, canonical. Jesus in D&D? Man? I want to know. Well, actually, you know, dude, Beyblade subclass. That would be no, it no, right no, there. No, <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> dude, That's... how do they le- allow children to carry those things? Those are We're more devastating about... than guns. The metal Beyblades was an era to survive. Uh, oh yeah, Beyblades. Like you the see that Beyblade show? They're they're straight breaking yeah. boulders with that shit. Not regulated. I mean, it can't be any different than people have. There's no child regulation like, work laws <laughs> at the time, so that's easy. A it's like if you can lift this sack, God, you will work. Uh, you fucking dude. There's children yearn for the. Mines. They were the first canaries <laughs> before they realized they can use canaries. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but then they just had kids <laughs> catching canaries because <laughs> it's, it's, it was faster to just make kids yeah, catch canaries the first, in the dust. That's how. That's how it works. Ask the Egyptians; they'll <laughs> tell you. The very canaries. first. How, how do people learn to like, train birds? I how still don't know. That that actually, that's, that's <laughs> an interesting. And, and then like, find somewhere, go. and then come and then back to back? here. Like, they're like, oh, food's what? here or something. But <laughs> as far as kids go, we know the Egyptians had yeah. it down. So, like, they're, they were... The... The Egyptians <laughs> had dinosaurs. I'll die on that. Let's go back. <laughs> know your history. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can end the episode with this knowledge nugget, I guess. You know, I like, <laughs> hieroglyphs and stuff, there are dinosaurs. It looks like we children's could, artwork. Just, just got, saying <laughs> How, how, how do they know about dinosaurs? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, for sure. All right. 
man. So is there anything that you want to leave the listeners with, like uh, any like final uh, bits yeah, of wisdom? Yeah, I mean, we talked about uh, uh, voiceover stuff and in, uh, beforehand, which we re- never really touched on in this, and and, and uh, because of all the fuckery. <laughs> but uh, for people who are looking out to go start in this business, um, don't go to college. Don't fucking waste your money on a school. Uh, get a rig, oh, meaning uh, you know a mic, a setup, a small like inner closet or whatever to record something. Uh, oh, exactly. So not like yeah, exactly. That. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but get get a, get a, get a space. It doesn't matter where it is. Um, and if you want, it's all about just setting up your rig getting a, a a good mic and you don't have to spend that much uh you know uh, it, it is an investment it's you know you're gonna spend you know uh, if you have a computer great i'm sure you do because that's how you're hearing this but you know a good a decent mic will cost you around like 300 400 bucks or, or whatever you can go crazy and spend more if you want but that with a interface that's going to be another 250 if you get a good one uh <clears throat> i would go with the ssl2 uh, the solid state logic uh, uh, interface. Um, AKG is a great brand um, if you if you want to look at that. And there, there's all kinds of stuff. Go do your research, uh, but don't spend so much uh, on something that you're just starting out as. And it's really about uh, getting the reps in, finding a good coach, uh, getting your reps in. <clears throat> the, uh, uh, don't spend time in years of... Uh, 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 college or whatever where you're paying so much money uh and you know just follow your dreams like 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 do what you want to do do it now uh if anything covid gave us a gift where you can do what you're like if you're at fucking kentucky i don't give a fuck where you are you can pursue this dream uh if you have the wherewithal to go and, Mm -hmm. and and find the work um, and that's via Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of different avenues, sure. fucking Craigslist, the, fucking everywhere. Uh, mm. Oh, absolutely. Like I just started going through, uh, ACX through Amazon for audible. And it's just like, I've already got like, I'm, I'm right. working on my second book right now. And I, mm-hmm. I do want to get out of my normal nine to five because that's just, that's just that's not working for me. I need a right. creative yeah. sphere and, and, to work. And it's in. the thing. It, it's mm-hmm. go go and do what you need to do now. Don't don't rely on other people to te- to tell you or teach you how to do that unless it's a fucking coach that knows what the hell they're doing and have credits behind their back. Like don't don't do that. So anybody in, interested in voiceover, I mean, I mean, you you all can hit me up on on uh, Orion Akaba uh, at on Twitter, uh, I refuse to say X, uh, or, or, or. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can always call it key, uh, kingdom hearts, or, or, is it or, still or that Instagram, in or, but it's around a couple of those things and I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to, uh, answer those questions, but, uh, but, uh, just go and do what you want to do. If you, if you want to pursue it, go pursue it. Don't fucking wait. Don't tell, yeah. uh, don't, don't wait for some professor to be like, <laughs> You spend three years going like, go buy a microphone. Like, no, do it now. Get the fuck out there and get the fuck out there. Uh, Look, people like to talk about yeah. how you pay for it. You know, it, 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 yeah. it's, it is that thing. So, so I mean, whatever your, whatever your dream is. like It really is. It doesn't, you know, whatever we're talking about. If you want to DM, fucking do it. Like, build, build up a fucking, uh, 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 you know, a one shot if you're not uh, comfortable with doing a whole campaign you know like just just do just do one job with like you know a couple of buddies mm-hmm. or whatever it doesn't matter where they are at like you know if, if you're comfortable with that you know just just do that but get, but do what you want to do if you want to be a player there's tons of resources to just get into games for 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 D and any other tabletop stuff like like just be yourselves love yourself and respect yourselves mm-hmm. that that's it that's what my message is Hell yeah! I think those are definitely words to live by because we're like you just said yeah. we're doing that right now. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, we started the podcast a little over a year ago, and really all it took was just not just believing in ourselves to be like, okay, I think I can do this. 
but you also got to have like at least one person, just one person that says, yeah. hey, yeah. you can do this. I, I, I will say this mm -hmm. on the uh, more psychological note is be arrogant, be mm -hmm. selfish, be narcissistic <laughs> just for a little while. You need those things. You will not succeed mm -hmm. if you are not. If, if, if it, 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 this is how it works. So I know that's a weird fucking thing to say, but fucking be selfish. Be, be like, get, 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 but, but you, definitely you a need weird to do thing it. for sure. Be you are the best. You are the fucking best. You are the best of the fucking best. You're... Exactly. Nobody can be you exactly. like you can be. You. All right. Now that's my end. All right. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no. I love that. I love that. I think that's a great thing to end on. And you know what? I think I will be the best Hope Orion are, I can junior. be because, like, <laughs> the council of Orion is dictated as such. It better be. <laughs> well, if that well, is all. The senior mentor Orion just is because I'm older, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all the listeners out there enjoyed hey, this episode ryan thank you for coming thank you for having me i really you're welcome fun. <laughs> it was great talking to you man. <laughs> look we, we never thought you know i love that you reached out back you know i'm, so I'm glad that you did so you know best best of luck to all y'all like thank you and the people we've been meeting just by doing this okay, podcast has been really great we're glad people are having a good time we're glad some people are enjoying listening and watching just listen to us shoot the shit talk about fucking nonsense a. for an hour and a half <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah all right love everybody you. you have much a love. great weekend much love oh.